The Margin published, August 19, 2020 at 2.55 p.m. ET Meanwhile, the presidential limo known as The Beast, has had custom Goodyear tires for decades Market Watch photo illustration Getty images the president is burning rubber. Donald Trump endorsed a boycott of the Goodyear tire and rubber COGT, minus 2.36% on Wednesday morning over reports that the Akron, Ohio-based company was banning its workers from wearing Make American Great Again MAGA attire, but allowing Black Lives Matter gear. Don't buy Goodyear tires, they announced a ban on MAGA hats. Get better tires for far less. Trump wrote on Twitter TWTR, plus 2.31%. This is what the radical left Democrats do. Two can play the same game, and we have to start playing it now. The Republican mayor of Coal Run, Key, is already on board, telling right-wing site Gateway Pundit that his town will no longer be using Goodyear tires for police, fire, and emergency vehicles. Shares of Goodyear dropped 3.1% in afternoon trading on Wednesday off of the president's tweet, while shares of rival tire maker Cooper Tire and Rubber Co. CTB, plus 1.27% and the US-listed stock of Japan-based Bridgestone Corp. BRDCY, plus 0.76% climbed. Read more, Goodyear's stock fall after Trump tweet urging boycott of company's tires, while rivals' shares gain perhaps the president was unaware that the presidential limousine, aka the Beast, is outfitted with custom Goodyear tires. In fact, Goodyear has been, the exclusive tire for the presidential limo and the standard tire of the U.S. Secret Service, for decades, as the company noted in a 2009 statement. When asked whether the president would stop using Goodyear tires on, the beast, White House Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany told reporters on Wednesday that, I am not going to comment on security matters. When asked whether not buying Goodyear tires is official U.S. policy, she would only say that, the president was talking to his supporters. Several Trump critics, including Democratic Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown and actress Mia Farrow, pointed out on Twitter that Goodyear's headquarters are in Akron, Ohio, a key swing state in the November presidential election, and the company employs more than 60,000 people. Kate Bedingfield, a spokeswoman for Joe Biden's presidential campaign, said that Trump was putting his own political interests ahead of the good of this country. This led to Goodyear becoming the top trending topic on Twitter early Wednesday afternoon, along with related terms such as buy Goodyear, MAGA and hashtag Ohio for Biden. The online uproar stemmed from an image that a Goodyear employee in Topeka, Kansas, shared from a slide he claimed was shown in the company's corporate office in Akron, as reported by Kansas TV station WIBW, it showed two categories of attire, acceptable, and, unacceptable.